Good morning, everybody. It's December 23rd, 2015. I'm Joshua Lubiandi, my co-host, Jose Navarez, with Channel Action 7 News. Today, we've got a very important headline to talk about in the economic world. It's a new discovery. We're going to have to find out more in just a few minutes. Yes, yeah, great story indeed, Joshua. I'm getting breaking news coming up from Perry, Iowa. My producer just told me that there might be a case of monopolistic competition going on outside a local restaurant. <clears throat> For our viewers at home, wondering what monopolistic competition is, it is a market structure in which many firms sell their products that are similar but not identical. Well, well, let's take this to our field reporter, Pedro Funes. Pedro, how's it going out there? Well, Perry, where a fight has broken out between two companies about whose prices were best set for the products they are selling. I've talked to people on the street about this touching subject and this is what they have to say. Excuse me, sir. Do you know what monopolistic competition is? What's it to you? Are you from the You're just filming the news. Do you know what monopolistic competition is? Are you with the government? No, sir. I'm just filming the news. Do you know what monopolistic competition yeah. is? I know what spare changes. Well, I got some pizza for you here. Excuse me, young couple, do you guys know what monopolistic competition is? Um, no. Sir, do you know what monopolistic competition is? No, sir, what are you talking to my girl for? I'm sorry, I didn't... What the... I'm sorry, sir! I'm sorry! I'm sorry! Ah! Excuse me, young couple, do you guys know what monopolistic competition is? As you can see, these uneducated individuals have nothing to know about how the economic world turns. I'm Jill reporter Taylor Lathrop. Back to you, Jose. I've been hearing from the crowd of people out here that they are arguing about whose company has the better service. We have a clear case of differentiation happening. Do you know what that means? This means that they are having a non-price competition where service, location, or style attract customers, but not a lower price affects their business style and how many customers they get. Josh. Thanks, Taylor, for that breaking news story update. Now we take over to Deputy Reporter Taylor Latham again for our weather forecast. Good morning, everyone. I hope you are having a fantastic morning. As you can see here, there are many firms of the water bottle industry, each one of these companies claiming to have the best, healthiest water available. Also in the business world, the water industries use four main types of differentiation. One, they use physical differentiation for the size, design, color, shape of the water bottles. Two, they use marketing differentiation where firms differentiate their products by distinctive packaging. <laughs> Looks like this wave of water is going to be heading out for a while. Hey Taylor for the update on the weather. Well, it's time for our headline story. Our headline story is about predatory pricing in the market. Predatory pricing is where a firm is selling product below a cost for a short period of time to drive competitors out of the market. But compared to, comparing to monopolistic competition, they don't have predatory pricing because there is very little control over prices due to firms. The bottled water firms can be seen having this problem because they all sell identical products, but the price tends to stay around the same. Hey there, I'm here to talk about deregulation. Deregulation is a policy promoting cutbacks in the amount of the federal regulation in specific areas of economic competition. This relates to today's society problem of barriers to entry. Barriers of entry are obstacles that <coughs> excuse me, make it difficult to enter and give in the markets. The government regulation and patents, technology challenges, startup costs or education and licensing costs that happen in the monopolistic competition. Thank you for that important talk on deregulation, Josh. I'm getting word again from the fight that was happening outside the Perry Pizza Hut. It looks like they are forming an agreement to charge one price for the same good. It's a clear sign of price fixing, folks. The fight has stopped and everyone seems to be getting more. Thank you, Taylor and Jose, for that beautiful, beautiful update. Well, it's that time of the uh, Evening. I'm Josh Piani. This is Jose Navarro signing off. Have a great morning, y'all. Bye bye. Good night, Mike. I'm out here.